Hi guys, first of all, it's been a while. There's been a lot going on. And yes, you see me driving a Bronco. So here's the thing. Janice, my wife, is getting this Bronco. And if you haven't really kept up with the channel and this is your first view, uh, here's a little backstory to it. My wife, Janice, ordered a Bronco in 2020. And after three years, she's finally getting it. But the story kind of goes this way. She ordered the Bronco and she kept getting delay after delay. She was supposed to get it two years ago. And after so many delays, she got so frustrated that she decided to cancel her order. And that's when we got the GX 460. She loves the GX 460. And meanwhile, she kept getting emails, which really didn't matter because she was already, you know, she had already canceled the order. But she kept getting more emails about how more delayed it was. And that was until a couple weeks ago when she got the email that it was built. And she got the pretty pictures. She looked at me and said, I want this Bronco. <laughs> It was almost like, you know, she was in a relationship with this GX and she said, it's not you, it's me. I'm sure some of you guys can relate. It probably happens to all of us at some point in our lives. But so she told me she wanted the Bronco and I called the dealership up and I said, hey, I know we canceled the order like eight months ago, but can we uncancel? And sure enough, they worked with us. We're keeping the same price tag uh, that it was back in 2021, I think it was. So all that worked out. But I told Janice, I said, hey, if you're getting this Bronco, I'm keeping the GX. I'm building it up to Overland. That'll be, you know, my, my expedition vehicle to take on longer trips. I'll use the Commander. And she was like, whoa, 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 you're gonna keep the commander? You're not gonna sell it? I was like, I put too much blood, sweat, and tears into that commander to sell. So, there's a little bit of an argument. I think I won. Uh, she does want me to sell it, kind of. I checked Blue uh, Kelly Blue Book, and Kelly Blue Book is selling, uh, saying for a 2009 Jeep Commander with the miles I've got, 4500 bucks. I can't give my baby away for 4500 bucks. So I'm keeping it. Unless somebody offers me something outrageous that I'm like, okay. But yeah. So we're keeping the, the, the Bronco for her. I'm keeping the GX. I'll build that up. And of course, the Jeep Commander's the OG. So here's the thing. We're surprising her. My wife doesn't know that it's coming in, that it's going to be in her driveway in about 10 minutes. So she thinks it's actually coming on Friday. It's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. So it's going to be a surprise. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, well, there goes my GX. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! What you were expecting? Uh, oh my god! It took a lot of planning. Oh my god! <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> when you have a detective wife, I <laughs> I still got I'm by like you. Stalking the freaking website. This uh, like, very, very carefully. Do I have papers to sign? Yeah, we need to go. Right now? Yep. Hun, you, I have to go to work. I, I know. You need you need to get, bring your clothes. Hey, you're not going to jujitsu today. <laughs> we got things to do. Oh my gosh! What? What's up, man? <laughs> she she got she got her new car. I've been waiting for three years. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's been several days. It's actually Saturday today. And as you can see, yes, I got rid of it. 
I couldn't take it anymore. It hit in like 65, it was 70 yesterday, and I was just like, yeah, so it's gone. Um, it'll stay like this for a while. So she loved the surprise. Uh, she's actually at work, that's why the Bronco's not here, but uh, she loved the surprise, she loves the car, she's been driving the last few days, and she's very happy. I am very happy because I have my new car, my the GX and I am gonna build it up. Now, I still am gonna keep the commander. Like I said, if somebody offers me something that I can't resist, then maybe I'll have to think about it hard. Cause again, this is the OG, right? I can't see it in the screen, but it's right here. So yeah, I'm gonna build this up. Uh, I'm thinking that if I'm taking shorter trips, I'll take the commander with the trailer. If I'm taking longer trips, I'll take the GX, but this is gonna be my daily driver just to kind of keep the miles off the uh, the commander and uh, preserve it as, as long as I can. And yeah, you know, the bumper's already on it. Next, I'm gonna get sliders, some, some underbody uh, skid plates, and a bumper. Now let's talk real quick. I, damn, geese. I wanna get a bumper, but I don't want to build it up to be heavy like the commander. So, it's already got the kind of low profile covert bumper with the winch. This is steel. So I'm thinking this is probably like um, maybe 140 pounds put together. I don't want the back to be 200 plus pounds like it is for the commander. So I'm thinking of either the JW off-road uh, tire carrier. I'm thinking the rigged system uh, hitch mount carrier. Or I'm also thinking of True North Fabrication. They have a tubular uh, style type bumper it weighs 100 pounds but it'll kind of match uh, the tubes here on the uh, cbi bumper so i'm not sure which route i'm going to take what are your thoughts uh, leave them in the comments you know i i don't know i know with the jw off-road i like how it's low profile and it connects and there's nothing else added but you still have to drill into the door and i don't know how i feel about that so Another plan that I have is I am going to get it wrapped. Now, this white pearl, beautiful color. I, I, I mean, it's a beautiful color, but it's just not me. Like, I, I wouldn't choose this color. So I am going to wrap it eventually, probably summertime. It's going to happen. I have to. Again, leave your comments uh, down below. Let me know what you think about the rear bumper. I do want something because I have the spare tire been sitting in the garage since I you know since we upgraded these rims and tires so I don't want to just keep it in the garage it has to be on the truck so that's it guys oh I almost forgot it's official we have the Bronco when all the delays were happening uh, Ford was sending us a bunch of gifts like oh here's this I remember us don't get rid of your Bronco well, she ended up getting rid of her Bronco but one of the gifts that she got while we were waiting was this sticker. <laughs> so I officially put it on and uh, yeah, it's official. It's, it's on the board of stickers of things that we've got or done or places we've gone. So, so this is right. Just cause the OG, the trailer's called in case, you know, just in case. Um, yep, it's still broken off from my camping trip when I ran into a tree. But I'm thinking about changing this. I think her name is going to be Why Not. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. See you on the next video.